Let's take a trip through time, a voyage through the great state of North Carolina, where remarkable athletes and their feats, from the coast to the mountains, from Rockingham to Tobacco Road, have been a symbol of sporting excellence for over a century. A ride through the greatest moments in sports history makes frequent stops in the Old North State. Along the way, you'll revisit many legends of the game with names like Catfish, Big House, The King, Choo Choo, Skywalker, and his airness. And that's just a start. So sit back and enjoy this journey. Relive these memorable moments that prove there's nothing finer than sports in North Carolina. By the turn of the century, legends from the Tar Heel State not only began making a name in sports history, they were rewriting it, most notably in football and basketball, both sports being immensely popular in the American landscape. So popular, in fact, it spawned the foresight and determination of a visionary NC State basketball head coach named Everett Case, a man who helped take college basketball from a tobacco road indulgence to a nationwide phenomenon. As this train moves on, it's only justice to recognize a choo-choo. The University of North Carolina's Charlie Choo Choo Justice led a Tar Heel football squad to an improbable 34-7 win over Texas in 1948. At that time, the Longhorns were widely considered the nation's best football team. Of course, North Carolina has been home to numerous major championships in golf and some of the most popular events on the PGA Tour. It is also home to Wake Forest University, which produced the legendary Arnold Palmer. His impact at Wake Forest opened the door for future coach Jesse Haddock to build a storied program in the 1970s, one that produced a who's who of outstanding pros. We pick up the pace and race into the 1960s with world record speed. Five years after graduating from the University of North Carolina, Jim Beatty became the first man to break the four minute indoor mile. He's gonna make it, he's gonna run the first four minute mile. It looks like he made it unofficially, 358.6, what did you get there? Morning on my walk, 359 flat, no doubt about it, Jim Beatty has just run the first four minute mile indoor history. In the 1970s, NC State basketball once again stood tall, as in Tommy Burleson tall. In the span of a month, the Wolfpack, led by the seven foot four Burleson and the sensational David Thompson, provided two magical moments. First, the Wolfpack outlasted Maryland 103 to 100 in overtime to win the ACC tournament in what many still feel was the greatest college basketball game ever played. The Wolfpack celebrate victory in a game of games, a battle, according to winning coach Norm Sloan, between the two best teams in college basketball. With that victory, State earned a berth in the 1974 NCAA tournament, where it went on to defeat, in double overtime, mighty UCLA in the national semifinals ending the Bruins' 38-game postseason winning streak. Two days later in the Greensboro Finals, a victory over Marquette sealed the Wolfpack's first national championship. In 1982, the University of North Carolina, coached by Dean Smith, followed up on the feats of Frank McGuire's undefeated 1957 squad by winning the school's second national championship. And the man who hit the game winner was a Wilmington youngster who would prove to be quite comfortable on the game's biggest stages. Shot, Jordan, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan played three years in Chapel Hill, then went on to dominate the NBA in leading the Chicago Bulls to six championships. Our trip through the greatest sports moments in North Carolina history takes us to April 4th, 1983. Where were you? when head coach Jim Valvano's cardiac pack shocked Houston and the world to win college basketball's top prize. Whitford, oh, it's a long way. Oh, it's a long way. They won it! On the dunk. Let's switch gears to stock car racing, 
where our state is home to the vast majority of NASCAR drivers and their teams. The sport took root largely in the foothills of North Carolina, led by the likes of Junior Johnson and Ned Jarrett. Then there was a racing family from Tiny Level Cross in the Piedmont. Richard Petty, the son of Lee, became the face of stock car racing for decades. In 1984, Petty won his 200th and final race by beating Cale Yarborough to the finish line in the Daytona 500 by one foot. Here they are, Sam. They will come across the yellow line just about together, but Petty had the lead. From the track to the diamond, Hall of Famers Enos Country Slaughter, Gaylord Perry, and Jim Catfish Hunter all learned the game on the sand lots of our state. Then there's Trader Jack, as in Makia. The Elon alumnus and resident managed the Florida Marlins to a World Series championship in 2003. Back to the court, college hoops once again took center stage in the 1990s. By now, Duke head coach Mike Krzyzewski had built a program that was the envy of many around the country. In 1991, the Blue Devils defeated heavily favored UNLV on the way to the school's first ever national championship. A year later, Duke repeated the feat, but the most memorable moment of the 1992 NCAA tournament wasn't in the championship game. Perhaps you remember this. There's the pass to Leitner. Puts it up. Yes! If you talk basketball in North Carolina, you must mention the name Clarence Gaines, better known as Big House. In 1993, Gaines retired as head coach at Winston-Salem State after compiling 828 wins, including a Division II NCAA championship in 1967, which made the Rams the first historically black college or university to win an NCAA championship. Prowess on the hardwood is not just a man's world in this state. 1994, North Carolina head coach Sylvia Hatchell led her Tar Heel team to a national championship in dramatic fashion. Here's the shot, Charlotte Smith. Another giant in the women's college game led the NC State Wolfpack on the court for nearly 30 years. Born in Gibsonville, Kay Yao had decades of success, winning more than 700 games. She also led the U.S. women's Olympic team to gold in 1988. Her fight against cancer ultimately ended in 2009, but her legacy and determination continue to inspire. Before Kannapolis's Dale Earnhardt became a household name, NASCAR was very much a regional sport. But as the Intimidator got up to speed, it gained nationwide appeal. Earnhardt won 76 career races, most notably a victory in 1998 at the Super Bowl of racing, the Daytona 500. 20 years of trying, 20 years of frustration. Dale Earnhardt will come. Earnhardt's seven championships at NASCAR's highest level ties him for the most all time with that guy named Richard Petty. With high school and college football dominating North Carolina headlines for decades, a pro football team in Charlotte was making quite a splash as the NFL finally had a presence in the Old North State. And in 2004, just the franchise's ninth season, the Carolina Panthers defeated the Philadelphia Eagles in the NFC Championship game to reach Super Bowl 38. He got it! Touchdown! What a great catch by Masin Muhammad! Yes, Charlotte, there is a Super Bowl, and we're in it! With the NHL now firmly entrenched in Raleigh, the Carolina Hurricanes claimed the game's biggest prize. Behind its star, Rod Brendamore, the Canes captured the Stanley Cup with a Game 7 win over the Edmonton Oilers. Back on Tobacco Road, 2009 saw head coach Roy Williams lead his Tar Heel squad to the school's fifth college basketball national championship with a dominating run-through of the NCAA tournament. 
With respect to all other sports, college basketball is king in North Carolina. And when it comes to coaching, the king of the court currently resides in Durham. Mike Krzyzewski became Division I's all-time winningest coach on November 15, 2011, cementing his legacy as one of the greatest coaches ever, regardless of the sport. The game is over, and Mike Krzyzewski has set the record in men's Division I basketball with his 903rd career win. So, this is a journey that thankfully promises to never end. The next 50 years will bring more championships and more records broken as new stars are born and history is made. And aren't we fortunate to have a front row seat to it all? <laughs>